We are live, bro. What up, first, man? How are you? First LTB Live of 2017. Welcome to the new year. Tyler, I'm looking forward to 2017. What about you, brother? Dude, it's going to be a fun year, that is for sure. Well, now, guys, LTB Live, same time every month. The 20th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we are live. We've got a few thousand people, I think. Let's see what we've got, actually. I'm sure we've got some good numbers coming in. I haven't actually looked at the numbers 20th, yet. 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh oh, we're going to make sure. Got, uh, oh, boy. Hit the mute. Love having some double. Uh, got it. Guys. So, um, guys, we're tuning in. I know you guys got the golden tickets. I know you guys are ready for a good show. We're going to have tons of giveaways. Um, it's going to be a fun time. We're going to have some uh, some cool little guests, including everyone's favorite crowd pleaser lately, uh, Flavor of the Month, and probably Flavor of 2017. I think that's going to be D. Almighty. He's coming in to check oh, yeah. out and uh, tell us his next adventures he has on his plate. So that's always going to be fun. And, uh, guys, we're also going to go through your Bass XL box. So you're going to learn about your products and all the fun stuff we got going on there. And then plus uh, some other little um, – uh, announcements and uh, cool things that you guys are going to be uh, privy to because you're LTV members, part of the LTV fam. So, T Money, mm -hmm. guys, if you don't know Tyler, Tyler is the other host uh, for LTV, Tyler's Real Fishing. He is a uh, huge uh, YouTuber at the moment. Tyler, tell us what you've been up to right now. Give us some heads up. I see, saw some videos about your grandpa. I saw you make an attempt at fly fishing, and, and I love that you were able to uh, show you that you're human because I would make it. I would have been terrible at it. You did a lot better than I was. So tell us a little bit about what you've been up to lately. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I had a break from school for a month and a half, so I decided to take up fly fishing. I went to Florida, hung out with my grandpa. We went saltwater fishing, and, man, it was hanging with him for a full week. is definitely uh, an experience, but I'm glad I still have a grandpa to be able to hang out with. Um, so, yeah, had a, had a blast. I um, was able to just hang out with him and learn some new techniques, catch some new species. It's always cool to add new species to your, to your checklist. So that was pretty fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where's the next trip, man? Where are you at right now? Oh, man. Well, right now I'm at Sam Rayburn Lake. It is in East Texas. And I'm here for this weekend. And then who knows where I'm going next. Uh, I want to get out to California again. Hopefully catch some, some giant spots or some giant largemouth. And then, uh, man, honestly not sure. It's all an open book right now. Very nice. Very nice. Well, for all you guys that have watched this before, um, you guys also, you already know the, the platform, how LTV Live works, but uh, for you guys that are just joining us for the first time, um, you may have gotten a goal, or you should have gotten a golden card, and hopefully you have it, the golden ticket that was in your box, no matter which box you got, there's a golden ticket in there with a number. Every 15 minutes uh, throughout the hour, we're going to be doing drawings that are going to be given away, uh, we'll be making announcements, calling out numbers, but also we'll be asking questions as well, trivia questions that even if you don't get a box, you can still win because we want to make sure everybody gets hooked up um, on LTV Live, right? Uh, some other announcements oh, yeah. we have. Guys, our, our live show has been a huge success. We've actually now gone an entire year with LTV Live. So uh, something that the audience has slowly grown and we've really kind of, uh, you know, adapted to uh, what people want and stuff like that and kind of mainstream the show a bit. So next weekend, we're doing something. We're going to do another live show because, uh, you know, how popular lives getting on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We want to keep taking advantage of these new platforms and stuff. So check out what we're doing next month. Tyler, I don't know if I've told you about this yet either. Next month. I don't think you have. No. We're going to be doing an on the water live show where I'm going to be back in the office um, and I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be basically uh, the, the studio um, person and Nick, the informative fisherman is going to be on Lake of the Pines and he's going to be fishing one of the products from this month's box, which is the rage crop. And he's going to be out there throwing in a bunch of different ways, talking about how he does it and hopefully catch some of those big old four or five pounders that are swimming around in there. Then we're going to have Steve Parks, the creator of the rage uh, tail series, plus Cody wow. Meyer, also be coming in and talking Nick through, telling him where he should be fishing on the water and really walking him through. So it, it's something that I think it's going to be an absolute blast. I'm really excited, and it's really going to be a test to see if this is something that we keep doing. So, and Yeah, I, that sounds awesome. I'm, I'm going to watch. <laughs> anyone can tune into that because, you guys, it's going to be something that's um, – it's it's meant to be a learning platform as well as entertaining. Everyone loves watching somebody out fishing. If I'm not fishing, I'd like to watch somebody else out there doing it. Uh, so 
that's what we're going to try to do. And that's going to be a two hour uh, live cast. So stay tuned on Facebook, uh, YouTube, and we're going to make announcements everywhere. So if you guys aren't subscribed to our channels, uh, first make sure you hit the subscribe button right now, right below on YouTube. Hit the subscribe so you can get all the updates we do. Also, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook because we're uh, we do a lot of different uh, cool content on all those platforms. Um, so, one thing, Tyler, everyone's always been asking for months and months about swag, right? I mean, swag. Everyone wants mm -hmm. swag. We finally have. A Dude, store. I've been asking about swag. <laughs> right. We finally have a store open, okay? It is finally open on the website, luckytacklebox.com. And you guys, we got new shirts. We're gonna be introducing a new style shirt every single month. So we'll, we'll announce it here on LTV Live and then show you guys what it is. And you guys can go pick it up on the, uh, on the store. Also, we have hats that, I should, that we should be announcing in, uh, in February's uh, LTV Live. So we're finally, all, all our uh, LTV fam that's been asking for, uh, for the ways to support LTV and they want to represent, you now have it. Go to the store, check it out. And uh, I'd like to pull up a picture of it. T-Money, did, did you get a shirt yet or not? I did not get one in, no. Some kids said all the hoodies are sold out, which is a good sign, which means people want their swag. Yes. You know what? It's a, yes, and we're going to definitely order some more. But you're absolutely right, Tyler. It's it's a good uh, it's a good thing. That means uh, we got a we got a strong following, man. We got a good culture. So this is the new shirt. Oh, yeah. Did that pop up yet? Yes, it did. Nice. So um, Tyler, you should have some coming to you, and I will have one on my. Uh, should be showing up in my house soon, and you and I can rock those on the next uh, LTV live. And then. Also, guys, just so you know, for, for you guys that are used to seeing uh, all our little displays that go on the screen every month, uh, um, we're having some technical, technical difficulties. Google Hangouts decided to change something, and uh, now we're not able to put it up right now. So I don't know. Hopefully, that means they're improving things, and, uh, and it'll be that much easier next time we come to you. So we're ringing it. Uh, it's a little, bit more, a little bit more raw this time, and uh, we'll see what happens next month. So, guys, let's... Let's look at the box. Let's move into the box right now. I'm See, down. Guys, well, this is how this works. We go through the box. You guys are sitting at home right now. Pull open your box. You're going to see this card. Guys, what we're now uh, – Rick Petrie, the president of Lucky Talk Box, is now going to be inserting cards and letting you know the highlights of this box because there's actually in every single box, there's there's new products that have never been released. There's products that have that, – that are – have unique reasons why it's amazing that we got them in this box for you guys this month because we go through great lengths doing deals and getting certain products in here so that's the card that's going to tell you kind of some of the highlights of the box we open it up everyone should have their golden ticket in their hand right now make sure you guys have that because we're going to be doing some announcements here real shortly cool sticker we're going to be putting new decals in stickers and stuff uh, in every box. So you guys get a lot of different stuff going because we've, we've realized that everybody is asking for the different, uh, different ways to represent LTB. Um, and then we got the card. So T-Money, let's go through real quick. And let's go, let's just introduce all the products real fast. And then we're going to do a giveaway. And then we'll start going through the products one by one and kind of inform you guys a little bit more on that stuff. Sounds good. What do you say, yeah, T-Money? Why don't you oh, yeah. pull the first pull the first product out of there? Which one are we? Are we in the throwback or the Mustang? Yeah, any one you want to do. Okay, we're gonna go with the throwback lures. This is called the wagon shad. The wagon shad, money, money, money. I like that. That's one. Uh -huh. We'll talk about that a little bit later. There's a couple bits. You're a deep diving crankbait guy, Tyler. You're not afraid of sticking some fish on those deep dive crankbaits. There's some nice little stuff in here for you. Some smaller ones. Oh some, yeah. The bigger ones. This is. So this is definitely going to be some stuff you're going to like talking about. Um, oh, yeah. It's a good box. Not going to lie. Right? Right? All right, guys. Uh, next item is the Biwa 4.5-inch uh, tail gunner. And uh, great little swim bait. I, I, I got some cool little ways for you guys to be throwing this that we'll talk about a little bit later in the show. Cool. My turn? Your turn. The Strike King Rage Craw. You guys have heard me talk about this for years now. One of my favorite craws of all time, and now LTB's finally got it in the box. How many do we get in here? Eight, six, seven? Seven full Rage Craws. That's incredible. Right. The Rage Craw, this is a great product. I'm we have a lot of cool stuff. We made a killer video on this this month, and uh, th this is one of those products that you can rig so many different ways that uh, you can use it anywhere. Anywhere in the country, you're going to be able to throw this thing and, uh, and have some success. 
Oh, yeah. Next, we've got uh, we've got a spoon. Got one of Castaic's uh, the Flutter Magic Spoon right here. Guys, winter time? Oh, it's spoon time. You've got a spoon feed these fish. And uh, mm -hmm. I've got some cool videos on that as well where I've hooked up with two fish. I had two spoons. I had one spoon on one rod, and I hooked up one, and then uh, there was there was followers. I picked up another rod, dropped spoon down, two fish at one time, man. I love throwing spoons this cool. time of the year. <clears throat> All right, next we have the Mustad Big Bite Soft Plastics Hook. Just a great looking straight shank hook right here in a, I got mine in a three aught. I don't know what you guys got yours in, but uh, this seems pretty good for a lot of different baits, especially that Rage Crop we got. Nice, 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 nice. Um, then this one, uh, this one differs in some of your guys' boxes. You've either got the, uh, the hatch spin from Lunker Hunt. Or you've got uh, one of the Ozuri crankbaits. So uh, both great companies, uh, both great products that we have videos on uh, that you guys can go check out and get some details on. Sweet. I, I saved the last one in there for you too, man. Yes, you did. Now everybody, you know in this in the wintertime and the summertime, bass go deep. And this right here is the live target. I don't even know. It's the bait ball series, and it, it dives pretty deep. And it's got the cool the cool decals. I'm not the decals. The uh, the details of the fish on the sides, perfect chartreuse color for that off-colored Texas water. That'll be good. Good stuff. Last thing you guys got from reading material, Fish Hound Magazine, always giving us some articles. Uh, you know, we, we've really tried to make sure that Fish Hound is, um, is writing about a lot of the products that are either in the box or going to be coming up later in the box. So uh, uh, it, it's really something that accents what's in here you know this is supposed to be a learning platform you get these products that's why we make the how-to videos and that's why we uh, introduced the magazine as well because this is going to explain a little bit more about what you have in the box oh yeah Tyler 613 man we're, we're creeping up to uh giveaway time dude I know people are, are getting antsy I, I know that everybody loves giveaways around here Probably the only reason they come. They don't want to see me. They just want to get free stuff. <laughs> but they got to sit through us. They got to sit through us. Uh, that's that's the price they've got to pay. Yep, yep, yep. Another thing is, just so you guys understand, um, I just um, got my first inshore box. I signed up for inshore fishing for the first time because I live right next to the ocean now. I just moved back up here to the uh, California coast, and I have some new kayaks. I've got all my new gear behind me. That's all kayaking attire i didn't even know there was that but i i was in a store and i really uh, overspent in there but i am now one of the most outfitted kayakers and ready to go attack and now i've got my intro box and i've never done any real kayak fishing and so uh i'm kind of excited and i'm, I'm going to be trying to make some more videos on the uh, inshore stuff so just a little heads up on that and then i think next we're going to get into the giveaway i'm going to have one last announcement because this is something that happened to me tell you're going to like this story as well man um you guys, uh, we did a live show, Tyler, when we were at Clear Lake, actually. Um, uh, when you guys left, uh, uh, Jake and I went back out, and we were doing live feeds, and uh, we were asking people where they were from. And we had, you know, I think a 1,000 people watching. And people were saying, you know, Texas and all over Florida, everywhere in the U.S., right? And then a guy chimed in and said, uh, I'm here – um, you know, we're stationed out in Afghanistan. We're watching from Afghanistan. And it was, it was a cool, like, it was like, oh my gosh, like it was, you know, there's something you didn't expect to hear. And, uh, so we threw him a shout out, you know, and said, uh, you know, thanks for your guys service. And then the whole feed blew up with people saying, Hey, stay safe. Thanks for your service. And it was just this cool thing that I'm out in a lake, you know, on a ladder filming Jake fishing and stuff. And, and, uh, and then we're communicating, uh -huh. with people, you know, halfway across the world that are, you know, that, you know, putting their lives in danger and stuff. And it was, it was really cool. Now, fast forward a couple of weeks, he actually reached out to me and we, we started talking on Facebook and everything. And these guys are out there. They watch the live shows. They watch all the videos. It's, it's their way. You know, we've got a lot of fishermen over there. That it's their way of connecting back to home. You know, they're not getting the fish there, but they at least can watch it and feel some connection. So these guys actually asked for my yeah. address. And in the mail, this showed up, man. And this was one of the coolest presents I have ever received. I can't wait to frame all this stuff. Now, this is, so if you guys can see this, this is actually a, uh, a helicopter that is flying the flag, right? And this is the actual flag that they flew over one of the missions. And so they signed all the guys who were flying the plane, and then all the guys uh, that were in the plane si or in the helicopter signed it, sent out this flag. This is the, this certifies that it's a that it is the authentic flag and everything. So it's like it, it was so cool. So I got I got to send a big shout out to them. And uh, the one that I've been talking to is uh, Cameron uh, McKinstry. 
And so all you guys out there, you know, in Afghanistan and stuff, you know, stay, stay safe. We thank you guys for your service, man. I, I love, you know, I, I support our servicemen a hundred times over. And I know our, our channel does really well too, which was really cool to see how, how many people really just uh, come together to, to support our troops and stuff. So anytime you guys get back here safe, uh, hit me up and you guys have a spot on my boat to go out fishing, man. So kudos to That's you guys. Incredible. That's an awesome story, dude. I love that. Right? Right? I was like, when I got that, I opened that box. I picked up the post office in my car, and, and I literally got goosebumps when I opened that up. And I'm like, I, this is amazing. This is absolutely like, I, I, it, it by far is the coolest present. I, I really appreciate it, you guys. And, uh, and like I said, just stay safe over there, man, and uh, get back here so we can go out and do some fishing. Mm -hmm. Well, T-Money, I'm sure people are ready for... Well, and there's some great comments too, man. I'm, I'm reading the comments about people staying safe and stuff. That's awesome. Um, oh yeah. See, people, people are also getting uh, two and three boxes this month. <laughs> are you seeing that? Yeah, people are getting multiple boxes. Guys, and here's the good news. We've actually had a lot of people call and go, <clears throat> I got three boxes. Are you guys charging me for three boxes? And no, no, you're not being charged three boxes. Uh, there was a lot of extra boxes that were sent out. And so for some of you guys that got the extra ones, you got lucky, all right? It's Lucky Tackle Box, and we make sure you get lucky. So oh, yeah. um, now you got now you can snag that tree three times because it's so sad when we get a lot of comments and people are like, oh, my first cast, I snagged the crankbait, and I lost it. And like, oh, shoot, man, sorry. Well, so hopefully those guys got three boxes this month. So, guys, let's go to our first giveaway. This is how it works, guys. Oh, yeah. First of all, so you guys have your cards, but this one's going to be the first uh, part of this is a question for anyone. You don't need your card for this because we're going to ask you a question. And this question is going to be four winners and all of them are going to win a lucky tackle box of their choice. So you're going to win. Um, you get to pick out which box you want, any species you want. And so there's actually going to be, let's see, the first right answer is going to win. And then they're going to pick three random answers because we've had uh, the three random correct answers because we've had some problems. Some people have fast internet, some people don't. So we're going to reward that one first answer, and then we're going to pick three of the random right ones. And then, as we're waiting for the office to uh, find the winners and, and post those, we're going to call out the winning ticket numbers um, that are also going to win four T-shirts. So, T-Money, why don't you there ask you the question? All right, first question. All righty, people, are you ready for your first? Hit that thumbs up button if you're ready for the first giveaway. I'm sure you are. Here we go. Where is the BASS Open Tournament going on right now? There's a professional fishing tournament going on, bass tournament somewhere in this country. What lake or like series of lakes is it going on right now? Let's see what you guys say. Who knows they're professional bass fishing right now? Yep, guys, the BASS Open, the first open of the year, boys. Oh, I see some Floridas. Okay. Uh -huh. We need the we need the body of water. Oh, oh. oh I saw oh, wow. Are you seeing Oh, I saw somebody. <laughs> I love when that happens. They, they just that was cool. <laughs> so cool, man. They're catching some fish out there. I think they're doing I think they're on some beds and stuff. So that's really cool, man. There should be some really good catches out there. Um so yep. T Money, why don't you now call out? So now while we're waiting to see who the winners were on that, um now you guys place uh, pick up your cards. Tyler, read out the four golden ticket winners. Can I read out my number? <laughs> go ahead. All right, here we go. Golden ticket winners, number one, 36,508. So 36,508. Number two is 19,115, 19,115. Number three is 7,326, 7,326. And lastly, for this giveaway, we have 42,445, 42,445. Okay, if any, of that, if any of you guys have that winning number, I'm going to tell you what to do right after I announce now the four winners of the, uh, of the boxes. So here we go. Winner number one, which is the first correct answer, was that kid Nico? That kid Nico, one of the biggest supporters of LTV. So, and also just an avid fisherman, and so obviously that's why he knew that one right away. Um, then we've got yep. second winner William White, third winner Patrick Fisherman, 
and fourth winner Nathan or uh, Nathaniel Smith. Now, so if, if I just called your name or we called your ticket number, email Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com. Send your mailing address to him, and you have, if you have a golden ticket winner, you have to take a picture of that so you can prove that you were actually the winner. And Justin will send you guys out your prizes. Good deal, everybody. That's a successful giveaway. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. All right, guys. We have. Let's talk about. Um, let's talk about what's coming up. Do I have a picture of this. I don't know we're having these technical difficulties. It's harder to show. But you guys, I'm gonna, we always do a sneak peek now on what's uh, what's coming up in uh, in next month's box. And so, tube fishing. Is something I believe I always preach. It's a lost art. That it's just not sexy anymore. You know, everyone wants these big swim baits, these new crazy oh. looking baits. The tube not only has always worked, but because people have gotten away, so many more lures have come into the market that really people have gotten away from it too. So it works even that much better because it's not used as much. So next month we're having the uh, Z-Man, the uh, TRDZ tube, and. Uh, it's made out of that, that elastic uh, material they have that just doesn't break, basically. You can stretch it out a couple feet. And um, mm -hmm. this is a real small one, too, which I like. Um, it's a low-profile, little low-profile bait that's really going to um, – it's really going to work well at this time of the year. Our guys are really going to like it. And I'm going to show you guys on the video next month how to rig this thing a couple different ways. And uh, you are really going to like this bait. Uh, if you're looking to catch fish consistently when you go out there, a tube is always, always the way to do it. Oh, yeah. Tubes uh, catch those big old small now. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, so let's, uh, let's open up the box and start talking a little bit about the box right now. Yeah, let's do it. I'm opening the wrong box. I'm what do we got first? I'm an inshore. I'm going to go right after it right now, dude. I'm going right. Oh. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, I put him right here. Boom. Strike King, Rage Cross. Guys, I happen to know the uh, the creator of this bait. His name is Steve Parks. One of the most intense guys I've ever met. He's just, he's a perfectionist. And so he was one of the first guys that demanded the baits be put in a clamshell like this. Now, um, the reason for that is not so they look nice and fancy. It's so they work nice and fancy. Um, when you open that up, they're, they're not all mashed up and everything. And a lot of times, when you have bags just in a bait without a clamshell, even though the bait is designed a certain way, it can sit wrong in that box, in that bag and everything, and they can get the plastic can actually get messed up, and it's not going to work the way it was intended. So with mm -hmm. these baits, they not only are designed to work, to have this kicking action, but they also um, – they always consistently work on doing that. So um, what I really, in the video that we uh, posted, we're actually going to post uh, this week about how to use this. We show how to rig it four different ways. And uh, with a cross style bait like this, I really describe it as basically three different uh, types of craw baits. There's the curly tail, right? The double tail, little grubs that you have that are little curly ones. Those work great in clear water. And uh, for smally spotted bass, they're, they're a killer. Then you have kind of the real flapping crawdad style baits that, Really work on big jigs and stuff when you want to pitch in that cold, uh, stained, uh, muddy water that really puts off a lot of uh, uh, water movement and stuff so these fish can hone in on it. But then when you have this little Strike King Rage Crop, this is actually like a hybrid because as you're, as you're pulling this thing through the water, this bait actually, the little arms catch water so they, they kick. And so they make this little kicking motion. It looks like a little fish or, or something scurrying along the bottom uh, really triggers strikes. But then also, if you want to flip this on a jig and just hop it and stuff, it's still, it, as it kicks, it, it really displaces a lot of water. So you really get that nice in-between hybrid of the two common uh, craw baits. That's why this bait is so successful, whether you put it on a jig, whether you rig it Texas on a bullet weight, um, or uh, what I like actually is a football head, um, a, a swing jig football head, rig weedless, and then even rage rig, where you have a little lead weight underneath here, so it falls um, horizontally as it falls down. So very versatile bait from Strike King, and uh, they were excited to be part of the Lucky Tackle Box. They're going to be in the box a lot of times this year, and uh, and that is only good things for everyone that's uh, part of our box. Good deal. I'm excited. I love that bait so much. Tyler, 
What do you got? Pull something out there. Okay, okay, let's see. Something I'm actually pretty excited about that I've never seen before was this one right here. I forgot the, the exact name of it, the Biwa Tail Gunner. This bait here looks just like a, a skinny dipper or a, uh, and any sort of soft plastic swim bait. And I might pick up and throw a chatterbait tomorrow because the water here got a little bit dirty here at Sam Rayburn. And this bait right here looks absolutely perfect on the back of a chatterbait. It's, it's soft enough that the fish can tell that it's, you know, it feels like a prey fish or a, 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 what do you call it, a shad, but it's hard enough. And I, I'm pulling hard in this thing and it's not breaking. So this would be a very, very good durable chatterbait trailer. You can throw this on a, a wide gap hook with a belly weight and definitely catch some good fish. Yeah, and you can tell this thing just looking at it, it, it moves water. It's got a nice oh, yeah. wobble to it. And the way it's the way its body <clears throat> body's designed too, you're gonna get that side to side, that, that rocking action, which is really important out of these out of these swim baits. So um, you know, depending on the water you're fishing, you guys, if you, if you're if the weeds are dead in your lake right now, just throw a football head. Throw a football head right there and the the hook up that will come right through the top of that back. And you can fire that thing and just reel right along the bottom. Even if you're bouncing along the bottom, there's a lot of shad that are dying. When the water temps hit those 40s, shad are dying and they're falling down. So this is a perfect bait to just crawl along. Grass and stuff like fishing tomorrow, you can put it on a shad, a weedless swim and really just touch the top of that grass. And, and those fish that are warm and stuff and protected, they'll see an easy BWA has been a huge partner for us this year. They've really, uh, they've basically been a partner that they want to release all their baits to the U.S. through us. And so um, that's been a huge perk of, uh, of the LTV subscribers. Yeah, or, sweet. actually, Tyler, why don't you check before we go into our next giveaway? Do what? Oh, my computer just totally reset itself. We've had power out of five. People are saying there's lag right now. We're getting some lag. Okay. I hope so, but everything seems like it's going good. You are you are lagging real bad, homie. Still? Yeah, stay on, people. We're trying to figure out this lag deal. You talk about the hooks, and let me figure out the lag dealer. Okay. I think I think we're good. I think we're good right now. All right, you keep. Yeah, people said people said it's better. I mean, a lot of comments are scrolling in, but I think it's better. All right, so why don't you talk about the hook here? All right, so the hook that we got is the Mustad Big Bite Soft Plastics hook. This bait, for being a three aught, is actually pretty big. Um, this I wouldn't throw um, anything bigger than a three aught in this hook for sure, and uh, it is a very strong wired hook. I mean, I'm I'm pulling hard on this thing right now. And it is not flexing, so this is good for your big bass. And even, I mean, small bass can get their mouths around this thing. But this, the thing I love about strike shade hooks is that they don't get caught on things very often. So let me try to find a, a rage craw here, take it out of the package. If you're flipping in and around wood and, and your bass are, 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 are fully eating it, you don't need the wide gap. You can put it on a straight shank. That way, when you rig it up, I don't know if you can see on my computer screen or not, there's hardly any room in between uh, the bait and the hook there, and it'll still pop out a good amount and hook them up. But you, if you have a wide gap that sits all the way out here, you have a big possibility of something hitting it, it popping through and hooking on a log. So straight shanks are one of my favorite hooks, especially for pre-spawn dragging when you're dragging uh, a brush hog or something like that across a, uh, a grass or sand flat. Why uh, straight shank hooks are definitely the way to go. Great explanation. A brush hog or something yeah. like that across a uh, oh, muted. It's done. Okay. Giveaway, and then we're going to enter. We're going to talk about our next. next All right, guys. So, giveaway two. Oh, yeah. Anglers, if you want a little, if you want to know what we've got, oh, basically. Um, now, it's going to be the Holy Grail. I'm just because I will teach you how to use this. Travis, you're lagging, dog. Travis, you are lagging bad. You're still lagging? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you got some terrible connection, dude. Tyler, <laughs> right, you take over. <laughs> All right, Jake, take over, man. We are we are in so charge of this thing. 
<laughs> All right, we're taking over. All right, we're taking over Lucky Tackle Box. First things first, traps is fired. We're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna be the new uh, owners. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, yeah. We're, we're oh, there's Tyler. I thought you disappeared too. I was like, All right. uh, no, I'm here. I'm here. So, uh, dude, I saw that lure you guys were talking about. I think it looked pretty cool. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was a that was the uh, the B wall swim bait and the rage yeah. craw. I have been informed though, Jake. It is time for another giveaway. Are you down for that? I, I am down, dude. What do, what do we got to do? All right, all right. So, so I'm going to. Uh, are you on the Google Doc or not? Uh, no, I'm not. All right. Well, there is a question we have to ask these people, and right. they get the answer right. They win some stuff. So, guys, if you're ready for giveaway number two, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Question number two: Who is the oldest? Fishing professional on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Who's the guy that's the oldest that still fishes the tournaments? There's plenty of guys that are older that have either passed away, sadly, or don't fish tournaments anymore. But who is the oldest professional bass fisherman on the Bassmaster Elite Series? Let's see if you guys you guys can figure it out. No, it's not Bill Dance. Bill Dance doesn't <laughs> fish tournaments anymore. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Not Mike Iaconelli. He's not very old. Oh, we got a few of them already. <laughs> Good job, people. You guys know you're pro, fi pro fishermen. Although, Jake, you fished with Roland Martin, right? Was that fun? Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, first day when we went in Canada, I fished with him. It was uh -huh. awesome. It was, a lot, it was a lot of fun. I looked over, I was like, you guys want me to hop in a boat, really? Okay. <laughs> Pretty cool. Although, you had no clue who this guy was. No, I knew who he was. I, like, I, just, I, I just don't really like – like, I knew it was pretty dang cool and a great opportunity. I just, I just didn't really follow everyone. Yep, yep, yep. You know, it's, it's like playing basketball with Michael Jordan. Like, I don't really follow basketball, but it's pretty dang cool, you know? <laughs> that, is, that is true. Yeah, it's, it's like if I was to join, like, a Call of Duty match with you, I'd be like, I don't play Call of Duty, but I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just kept on playing Call of Duty. That's actually a lot of fun. I've been playing all that much. Where's, where's Travis? Is he hanging in here? Is it just us? Are we I, taking I, him? I think it's just us, dude. We literally fired Travis Moran. Yeah, we fired him. We should just shout out our own personal social media and just, just take all, <laughs> we should. Take all yeah. stuff. All right, and now, now you guys have answered the questions. We're going to move on to the golden ticket winner, so everybody get out your ticket once again. Oh, I'm going to call out four more numbers, and uh, if you guys won, make sure you email. I think it was uh, and it wasn't Andrew at Lucky Tackle Box, Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com. But here are the next four golden ticket winner numbers. We have... Let me make sure I'm on the right one. Yes. We have 55,149, 55149, 20,139, 20139, 32,716, 32716, and last but not least, 975. Good old 975. What did I get if they win? What is this? Uh, a personal servant trip with you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Come on over, guys. I'm sure my mom will like be be happy to have everyone. <laughs> All the numbers are gonna get LTV boxes. Can you guys hear me now? My back or no? Yeah, you're good. You're back oh. for now. <laughs> no lag. We'll see. All right. Um, all right. So you guys did the giveaways right now. Mm -hmm. Did you guys announce the we two? We did the giveaway. Yeah. Did you announce the two names? Oh, yeah. I have not. I will announce them. Go All right. The two winners, the first person that got it right was North Hill Fisherman. North Hill Fisherman. And winner number two was Tyler Christman. Like Christmas and a man, a Christ man. Very nice. Very nice. All right, guys. Any of you winners, make sure you email Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com and let him know uh, what, what prize mm -hmm. you won. And then your mailing address, as well as a picture of your golden ticket winning, winner, so we can confirm that you won. Um, mm -hmm. Guys, there is we do uh, we follow Instagram. You know we're big on Instagram. We have a great presence. We love you sharing your video or your experiences, your your catches, all kinds of stuff when you get to the <coughs> box. So any of you guys hashtagging Lucky Tackle Box, we've been going through those, and I have a couple I want to share with you guys real fast. Um, some of the kind of the, the favorites of the month here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Right? Where, how do Travis, I know? you have a kid? I do not have a kid. That is not my kid. <laughs> but that's, how I, that's kid. how I feel. <laughs> that's how I feel every time my box comes as well. <laughs> now, here's one I saw that I found interesting because this looks like an awesome LTV buff. 
And Did I don't he have those? <laughs> yes. So <laughs> I know we had them on order, and apparently they've got a shipment has gotten here, and somebody got a hold of these. So you guys be looking on our uh, website. This should pop up on our store here pretty soon as well, because uh, obviously that means that they're here. Uh, I like those things. I like this person, dude. This person, uh, they were pretty stoked about their crankmates. <laughs> Okay. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That one definitely got my attention. I love seeing the mailbox ones. And look at this picture too. Cool. Where does it's this guy beautiful. live? The edge of the world right there, man. That looks awesome. That that background and everything. Dude, that mailbox is oh, yeah. huge. Cause, cause I, the box is like this big. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you notice that? Look how big that mailbox is. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> he gets some cool packages there. Yeah. Wow. And then our last one, you guys, these guys won $1,000 last month. They were part of the uh, hashtag LTB mission. And uh, what, what there is is um, I think we do it about every other month. I think it might start to do once every month. In your box, you get a card that says your mission. And this first mission for $1,000 was send us a picture with uh, you holding your box. And we were going to vote on what, which one our favorite video was. And this dad and his two daughters won it. And I love it, dude. This is like, this just... It caught everyone's attention. Everyone at the office voted on this one. So I like that. Got one. A nice little thousand dollar check. Oh yeah, I'd like a thousand dollars. Right. <laughs> but okay, so everyone, let's talk about this guy, this superstar. This is the last time he's doing a show with us. He told me before this, yeah. he's like, "All right, Travis, I'm, I'm too big." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that never happened. Oh, <laughs> uh, so Jake. Dude, you've been on a roller coaster. Actually, it's just been not a roller coaster. You've been on this just just a rocket ship going one way lately. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's been uh, it's, it's been unreal, dude. It's been very it's been crazy the past couple months. I've been blessed and just got super lucky, you know. And and uh, none of this like to be honest with you guys, like when I first started making fishing videos and swimming videos, uh, Travis invited me to go out. I didn't have any money. I was like, dude, I'd love to go on this trip. And uh, they actually covered for my my trip. And without that like initial bump. I don't think any of this success would have actually like, I mean, it might've just took a little bit longer, but I just, they just helped me out. You know, like I got, got into the fishing and then the swimming and I got in that mindset. So definitely they kind of pushed me in the right direction. And, you know, thank you guys for that. I appreciate that. I'll never forget that. And, and, uh, you know, you guys like a tackle box is actually really dang cool, man. And they're not just about like fishing lures. It's like a lifestyle. So, you know, like I just, it's just crazy. You know, I got super lucky this month. Now, Jake, let's, if, if some people uh, on this channel have no idea who you are, they're like, is he a surfer? Or what's going on? Look in the back of your uh, you know, back wall there and try to figure out who you are. And um, so if they don't know, if they're not one of your 1.2 million subscribers <laughs> at the moment, uh, let's fill them in on, on who you are and what your channel is right now and kind of what the channel's all about. All right. Well, uh, for the most part, I'm just, I'm really just a porn star. You know, I kind of just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. No, uh, Travis is like, Jake, you're fine. <laughs> no, uh, you guys, like, I do a lot of fishing. Uh, I started off, like I said, with Travis with fishing. Uh, do a lot of surfing. I live by a river so I can surf, fish, swim, do all that cool stuff, look for treasure. And that's pretty much what I do. You know, I go out, look for treasure and fish and have a good time and, and uh, live every day, like, uh, just like how I would if I, you know, if I didn't really, if I had work, I'd just go, I'd do all this anyway. So it's really cool to have this as like my full time job. So, I go out there, bring out my cameras, and I'm lucky enough to do this full time, and it's a blast, man. D Almighty, and do you want to share? Do you want to share with everyone where we're going, man? What the uh, next adventure dude, is here, dude? We're gonna go to Hawaii, man. This is gonna be insane. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm like, I'm just actually, I just, <laughs> just bought my plane ticket. I'm like, let's just go, man. We'll wing it. Like, we'll surf like pipeline, and we'll go swim, make some cool fishing videos. And I honestly have no idea what we're gonna do, but it's always a treat hanging out with Travis and. You know, I'm, I'm just happy not to go in a, that dang RV again because that was rough. Uh, <laughs> you guys didn't know. We, we spent like a whole month in his RV, and this thing broke down like a thousand times. He's like, Jake, <laughs> come out and fish. We didn't even fish. We just like sat in his RV. Like, <laughs> it was terrible, but it was fun. Uh, but Hawaii should oh, be probably the best trip out of all these trips, and and uh, it's, it should be a lot of fun. I haven't been there since I was really young, and, and I actually lived there, but I don't really remember it. But it should be fun exploring with Travis, and and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And now, Jake. Okay, I needed to vet you a little bit. Okay, I wanted to make sure that you can hang because when Jake and I were broken down as well, we were in the middle. We like there was no water anywhere to be seen. We were broken down. <laughs> we were 
there in the desert, you could see a million miles in every direction. <laughs> We were nowhere near water yet. So I'm over here drinking and eating all our food. He's like, Jake, you should be saving that, man. I'm like, I think we're good. I'll believe it. <laughs> I got faith. We're good. <laughs> so I, oh, man. I remember I like, ate all our sandwiches the first like hour we broke down. <laughs> Jake's eating our sandwiches, and Jake's also going through the waters. Like, it's nobody's business. He's just leaving, like, <laughs> them, leaving them around. It was like, Jake, it's 110 degrees. We have, like, 12 waters in the fridge, and you, you're you leaving half <laughs> waters all over the place there. 100 degrees right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that was actually too much fun. I enjoyed that, though. Like, it okay. sucked, but it was fun. I'll, I won't forget it. Now, so, Jake, I look at – let's talk a little bit about more about things that happened to you lately with the uh, with really the growth of your channel. I mean, it took you not that long to get to 500,000 when you really look at it. But but yeah. with where you are right now, that was like kind of the longest part of your growth. It was the 500,000. It seemed like when you hit 500,000 – I feel like you hit 700 and then right now to where you're at. Like, it was, okay, uh, it was, boom, boom. <laughs> it was unreal. Like, it, it took me a while to get the 500. And, you know, just, just, I mean, it was quick, but like, in the whole scheme of things, it, it, it took a decent amount of time. But, I mean, I went from 500 to one point, almost three in, in just a couple of weeks. It just, I was sitting there and uh, I was looking at my numbers and I just, I found this pistol in the river. And then after that, just things just started lifting up. Like, all my subs, I was looking at the count, it's just flicking through. I was like, oh my gosh, yo, that, this is crazy. And uh, every day I was looking at it, and there's like days I was getting 100,000 new subscribers each and every day, and it's just mind blowing, man. It's just so many people, and and it's just like it's crazy because you know all these numbers, these are real people, and I'm actually like seeing like my dream come true. You know, I, I can, I have a platform now where I can do this for the rest of my life, for for as long as I really want to, get everything I possibly can if I'm lucky enough, and and just live a good life. You know, like this is a dream I've always wanted, and I just saw it happen in the past couple of weeks. Everything was just in the palm of my hands. It was just crazy dude and like i said it just you know like i got on that mindset of doing swimming videos and fishing videos with travis when i first started and just crazy to think like i think i met you travis when i had like 170 or 200 thousand subs or something and he's like you know this guy does gaming videos but i think it'd be kind of cool to get him on this fishing stuff i guess and i was like dude get me out of my room let's go <laughs> <laughs> so this kind of just progressed into something else man and it's crazy just it's been unreal like i've been on news like it's just past couple weeks i've just been on the news and uh, people have been interviewing me and it's just non-stop it's it's a lot of fun oh and jake even like with the news but i keep seeing things pop up on facebook <laughs> yo oh, little yo. wayne uh shared wayne, my video no. little wayne the real <laughs> dude, man and then this other guy shared it. he got like 50 million views on it or something and uh now my, my facebook like my personal facebook has just been blown up and it's it's a dream dude it's it's incredible like i'm i'm really blessed and i i, I don't take anything for granted and it's just uh it, it's seriously just mind blowing well you know what i noticed on some of your facebook stuff too uh jake that's nice that i guess goes along with uh, all of a sudden being an insta celebrity dude is that uh <laughs> i noticed your your comment sections change some of the people actually comment and there's actually some very cute girls uh <laughs> quite a yeah, cat there, Tell there. Uh, before and after, there has definitely been more women. <laughs> but <laughs> my mom, dude, she's like, Jake, you got to be careful. People are gonna use you for for your money and your views. I'm like, mom, like number one, I don't make all that much. But like, but like, I can get women off of this. Like, whoa, okay, I didn't know this. <laughs> she's like, oh god, Jake. Where are these but, women uh, that want to use me? <laughs> <Where are they? laughs> I want to stay away from them. <laughs> no, I, yeah, definitely a lot more people do. Everyone, it's just. You would think, uh, you know, you get a decent amount of people hating on you, but dude, like seriously, like 99% of everyone just, just very supportive. You know, you get people saying bad things about my braces or whatever. I'm like, okay, you know, I can't help that. I mean, I'm looking pretty dang sexy. I'll take these off very soon. Let's see your teeth, man. But other than that, I mean, it's all positive stuff and it's just, uh, it's pretty crazy. And it's, and you know, like people on the team, you know, you got Tyler right here. He's a great fisherman. And, and, uh, you know, if these guys keep at it, a little bit of luck, you guys are going to blow up too, man. It's just going to be insane. And then I'm going to see all the success I had for you too. And, you know, so I was out of, I mean, if anyone ever wants to start YouTube, it could happen to anyone. And so you just got to have a passion, have fun and a little bit of luck. You can achieve whatever you want. Nice. Well, the almighty <laughs> man, I'm looking forward to going to Hawaii. Dude. It's going to be an epic trip. We got paddle boards coming out. We got all kinds. We're going to be doing some surfing. We're going to, uh, we're going to try to live up the uh, Hawaiian life. Maybe roast a pig. Who knows? All right, sounds good. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't kill me when I'm out there, dog. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, if you're uh, if you're watching this, you enjoy the Almighty. Show him some support. Give a guys. thumbs up right now. Hit the thumbs. Thanks for up. watching. We're at five thirty. <laughs> Let's see the thumbs go up right now. The Almighty. We will see you later, brother. See you guys. Have a good night. Thanks for having me. See you, Jake. Dude, man. What a dude. Right.
And uh, he's a guy you definitely – it's easy to root for Jake because he's just like – he's a likable guy. And so he has a lot of success. It's like it's fun living – like he he shares that experience with people so well. And I think that's why his, his channel is so infectious because yeah. he really just – he's able to explain things. He's able to really, uh, you know, share that adventure through his videos and stuff, man. That's, uh, so hats off to Jake. And we, we look forward to seeing where he's, where he's at next month in views and stuff, man. Tyler, let's yeah, do a giveaway. Crazy, hope he. Oh, another giveaway. All right, here we go. People, giveaway number three. Your oh, third question. We forgot to tell Jake. It's... Jake was. <laughs> so guys, we're giving away two winners on this for the uh, right answers, and uh, the two prizes are going to be some Jake River Treasure. So Jake is going to put a box together with some of the river treasure he's found, and you're going to win some some lures. They're they're obviously used lures and stuff, but. If you watch, he even makes challenges where he goes out and uses the stuff he finds and catches fish. So he's going to send uh, two winners out, some boxes with stuff that he's found, a little memorabilia and cool stuff. So I think if, if you're a fan of Del Monte, you'll like this. If you don't know who he is, you're, you're going to end up with some hooks that, that are rusty hooks, and you're going to wonder what's going on. So, But uh, hopefully this is won by someone yeah, yeah. who uh, is a fan of Del Monte and appreciates what this is really all about. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, so this is a Del Monte question. He kind of already answered it, but – what article did Jake find in his river? What thing that turned that he turned into the police and that, that video eventually, you know, made him super famous this past month. So what article did he find in his river? I'm sure you guys will get it super, super quick. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Holy moly. You guys were fast. <laughs> see, I wish that I, I wish, I wish that I could find. I wish that I could find that in my river or else it's so I could blow up like that. <laughs> the crazy thing is how many times Ty, or how many times Jake went down the river and uh, and never, you know, and it never felt something. Now there's tons of people that do it because they've seen all the stuff he finds and he was still able to find a gun. And that wasn't the new gun that just got thrown in. That thing was rusty and nasty. It had definitely been in there a I lot know. of time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's yep. going to be two, two J then, boxes. Now there's going to be four boxes given away. We're giving away four LTB boxes to golden ticket winners. So Tyler, why don't you announce those winners? All righty. Four more numbers, people. We've got 50,516, 50516, 45,161, 45161, 49,000, 94 49094 and last but not least 30 3174 3174 and those people won a lucky tackle box of their choosing nice nice and guys the winners of okay so guys he found a gun the guy found a gun in the river the two winners are mr T. Cardina? No, Mr. T. Cardine 23. Mr. There we go. And then Paul Mr. K. T. Cardin 23. Um, and so all, any of you guys that uh, had the golden ticket winner or uh, the two winners uh, from the gun answer, email Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com and let them know what you want and send your mailing address so we can mail you out your winnings. Yeah, I think I think it was a little bit of lag when you said the winner, so those last two. So there's Mr. T card in twenty three and Paul underscore K. In case they missed it. Tyler, am I lagging again? Do I need to reset the computer again? I'm not sure, but you're lagging a little bit more. Okay. Now what's going on with your router? Um I get bad service out here a little bit. I'm out I'm out a little ways away from town and uh, also it's been all stormy and stuff, so I don't know if that's kind of been screwing things up as well. So, gotcha. Let's see. Let's get back to talking about the box uh, baits here. All right. What do we got next? Let's do. Uh, let's do a spoon here. I'm gonna go spoon, and then. Uh, okay. And then. And then we'll keep moving along. But guys, this is. You know, when I first got learned what when I first saw a spoon like this, I thought this was trout fishing. Um, you know, when I was just getting into bass fishing, I looked at this like, no, oh, this is what you throw for trout. You cast it out of the lake and reel it in. Hopefully, a trout bites it. Um, you guys, spoons yeah. are very, very cool and very effective um, for bass fishing. And in the winter time, 
um, you know, fall and into winter, uh, these fish move deeper and they're looking for dying bait. And that's what this mimics. And so where a lot of people are casting out, think they reel it in, which will still work. Um, uh, you're really trying, this works really well when it's fished vertically. So if you're from a boat, you drop it straight down over points or, or the, uh, in the cuts going back into creek channel stuff, you drop it down to the fish. You know, I usually put it down all the way to the bottom and then reel a couple reels off and you rip it up. So you rip it up and then let it fall back on slack line. Rip it up, let it fall back on slack line. And what that mimics is as this water gets cold, these bait fish start to die off. And as they die off, they don't just go straight down to the bottom. They kind of flutter and they, they're eventually going to end up on the bottom. But to, to compensate, trying not to die, they try to do those little kicks. So that's what this thing is mimicking is that bait trying to make it up and then falling back down. And these fish are zoned in. They know that is what they're looking for this time. They're easy, easy meals. And that's what this is, is looks like a little bait fish falling down to the bottom. Now, for you guys that are fishing on the uh, on the shore, because you guys are going, I don't have a boat. I can't fish up and down. You can still do this from the shore. I've actually caught some great fish spooning from the shore. What you do is same kind of thing. You cast it all the way out, let it sink all the way to the bottom, and then you rip it off the bottom, reel in the slack as it's falling, rip it off again. And depending on how much uh, covers down there, if, if there's a lot of structure you're going to snag up on, I don't let it fall all the way down to the bottom every time. I, I kind of try to anticipate before it hits the bottom and rip it again. But if there's nothing on the bottom, if it's just kind of gravel and stuff, let that bait fall all the way to the bottom, rip it off again. Let it fall all the way to the bottom, rip it off all the way back up to you, you on the shore, and repeat the cast. Great, great bait. You guys, this is a very simple bait that you guys can have a lot of fun with. And if you've never used them, I'm happy that you just got introduced this because you got to go out and, and try it out. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, it's like my uh, my comment section. My comment section froze up real quick. I'm trying to get it back up. Okay. Well, then can I'll you, do. This. Can you are, are, are the are the comments coming in for you? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll just close mine down and I'll open it up later. All right, what, guys. What bait do we got next? We got throwback lures. The uh, the wagon shad, which is a small little deep diving crankbait. So this is a small profile, but still a deep diving crankbait. A lot of people think that a deep diving crankbait means it's a big crankbait, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It just needs a, the bigger the bill is why it's gonna dive deep. And so, uh, so sometimes these fish, they don't want a huge bait down there deep. They want a small little finesse style crankbait that, that it's really a smaller profile mimicking some of that smaller bait fish and stuff. So if you're not getting them on that bigger bait, go downsize and uh, a lot sometimes downsizing will catch you big fish as well if that's what they're looking for Tyler yeah, definitely you're on the next one man this is this a lot is of times especially what, oh we're doing the big one yes all right all right people when fish start to get on your deep rock piles your deep brush piles or even if they're just suspending, maybe you have a lake that's like my home lake is 180 feet deep at some of its deepest parts and fish suspend in that water column, but in like 20 to 40 feet, you're going to want to throw a deep diving crank, which in my opinion is one of the most realistic crankbaits out there because let me pull it out here real quick. They actually put inside the crankbait. I can't get it out of the, I can't get out of the box. I don't show it up here. They put on the side of the crankbait actual like, bait fish there's like three bait fish on each side of this thing and so it just gives it a super realistic look the colors are great and the action is super good i've caught a lot of fish on the uh the bait ball crankbait series nice nice tyler they're saying you have a lag you might want to reset things real fast how do i reset things i would just close down i would just close things down real quick and then come back again live all right all right i, I will reset sounds good all right, guys, and Tyler was talking about that bait ball. This one came in the XL box. Um, so the bass box has uh, usually four, uh, four lures in it and then uh, a hook. And then the XL series has uh, two more uh, bonus baits in it and stuff. So that's what this one came in. Um, now, guys, uh, when you're throwing a bigger crankbait like this, make sure that you are uh, – that you are actually uh, using a bigger rod. You don't want to go out there. A lot of these things – you need the right equipment when you throw this stuff. And so um, having that heavier rod, you're really going to get that leverage. You're going to let it load up and you're going to be able to huck this thing a long way. There's actually a giant weight in here that when you, when you go into your backswing you, to uh, cast that hook, that weight falls to the tail of that, of this bait. And so the weight is in the back of that thing and, it, and you get better leverage. And that thing will sail further at, um, 
because it's weighted basically now on the front of it because it's going backwards as it's going forward. So just something to think about having the right equipment. That's why we make the LTV videos and those are going to be starting to be released next week. So you're going to see videos for how to throw the spoon. You're going to show uh, see videos how to throw these uh, Strike King Rage Craws, um, how to use the Biwa Tail Gunner. We're going to show you how to rig them different ways, show you what they look like underwater. Because that's one of the biggest things is you're always visually trying to figure out what your bait is doing while it's underwater. And, and so these videos really are to help you understand these baits. And you don't have to go throw them exactly how we show you. But at least the, the, the idea is you have a starting point because it's really it, it's always nice seeing somebody else fish with a lure and you can decide if you want to fish exactly like that or go, OK, I get it. I'm going to do it different for my lake, but I now kind of see the way it's supposed to be. So if you guys haven't checked out those videos, make sure you do. We do them for every single month. And uh, if you hit the subscribe button right now, you will make sure you get updates and things like that when we do go uh, when we do release new videos and things. And we'll see if Tyler gets back here. But uh, guys, we will be giving away, everyone's got these gold tickets, they want to have more winners, we're going to be giving away some more boxes here in a minute, we're going to be giving away my favorite prize, which is a Travis box, and uh, there's going to be two winners that get, basically I grab a bunch of product off my boat, so lures that I cut off my lines, people get it, in my box I usually get lures which still has line on it, because I just literally cut it off my rod, threw stuff in here until it's packed to the brim, and ship it out to you guys, and, uh, and we're also going to be giving away a kayak. So that is coming up here in just a second. T Money, you're back. I am back. Hopefully, there's no lag. My Wi Fi got super slow. So hopefully, it uh, speeds back up here in a second. Nice, nice. It's getting late out there, huh? It is. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's, do, this, um, let's do this giveaway. Let's go with the final giveaways right now. Sounds good. L last question? Now this one, yes. So this one's going to be for the two Travis, uh, two Travis boxes. Uh, there's going to be one, the first right answer is going to get one, and then one random answer is right. One random correct answer is going to get a Travis box. And uh, like I said, I'm going to go into my, uh, I'm going to go into my boat, into my uh, motorhome once I go to Clear Lake, and I'm just grabbing stuff and throwing it in here. And this is all stuff that that I use a whole lot, and uh, and I love sharing it with people because uh, uh, I I. I'm happy that I know I'm giving them something they're going to absolutely love because I know I love it. So something that's very special to me on this giveaway. And then we are going to announce uh, some golden ticket winners that are going to win uh, Lucky Tackle boxes. And then the grand prize winner, a kayak. Yep, yep. All right, everybody, are you ready? Once again, hit that like button and subscribe to LTB for this last giveaway, the Travis Box. This is the question. Where do I, Tyler Anderson, Tyler Real Fishing, where do I attend college? I go to a college. I'm a sophomore. If you guys watch my videos, you know where I go to school. Where is that? Not what state it's in. What school is it? The state is in the name, but uh, what school do I go to? Oh, we got somebody. <laughs> I like the people we got guess. some people. Justin Lucas, too. Some people guess Justin Lucas. <laughs> like they're trying to guess the head of the answer. <laughs> I like that. I don't go to Justin Lucas University. That would be that would be fun, but I don't. Nice. Okay, there were a ton of right answers right there. No, I don't go to Alabama. Whoever said that, get out of here. <laughs> um. Wow, a lot of people know. That's cool. Okay, and you know what? Okay, so we're gonna answer. And uh, you know what? I lagged out before, but we did announce two winners with the. Um, uh, with portable fish finder, for, yeah. you guys, these are not all that. This is a very uh, simple, uh, a simple thing that you tie to your rod, and you guys, you guys can throw these out, and um, it, it tells you kind of water temps, uh, how deep it is. Um, it does claim that it shows you fish as well. Um, I wouldn't get too caught up on that because. Uh, Really, from the shore, you're not getting enough information really to analyze this fish there. But what I really like this for is knowing how deep areas are and uh, knowing the water temps and stuff. And it hooks up to your phone as well. So that's uh, two of the winners. Uh, there was we gave away two of these actually in the uh, second giveaway. But when I was explaining what it is, I actually uh, lagged out then. So really cool, something to check out. I like uh, throwing it. If I come to a little, and I'll use it in one of the videos coming up. When I come to like a little pond. I'll walk around that pond real quick and I'll throw it a couple times. You can easily find where the deeper part of the lake is. Um, you know, if there's a flat, you know, it's just something you can analyze the water a little quicker. You can also still do that by just throwing out heavy baits. You're throwing out a jig or something, you can count it down and figure out kind of similar stuff that you can do with that. But 
cool little thing to have uh, if you fish from the shore and stuff a lot. Yep, Tom, yep. Hey, hey, cool story. Cool story. Cool story. Once before we do that, go. Oh, there's some lag, I think. Oh, we're good. A waiter just came up to me and asked me if I like Lucky Tackle Box and if he should get it. And I said, yes, I work for them. And he was like, no way. And <laughs> he's obviously not watching. He's not watching LTB Live because he's, he's at work. But uh, he asked me if – here he is. He asked me if I loved LTB, and I said I work for him. There Want to be go. on our live stream right now? Sure. You fish? Oh, What's yeah. your name? Jacob. Jacob. This guy right here wants some Lucky Tackle Boxes. <laughs> Jacob, say hello Good to, to uh, 800 people that get Lucky Tackle Box and are watching the show. <laughs> he said hello. All right, Tyler, let's announce the last Alrighty. one. Sounds good. They're saying we have some echo, sadly, so maybe you should announce it. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, pull out your tickets because you're going to want to hear this. This is the last giveaway of the night, so you're going to want to hear these numbers right here. And make sure, guys... Take pictures of yourselves watching the show, hashtag uh, LTV Live or Lucky Tackle Box. Put it on Instagram, Facebook, and everything. We want to see you guys watching this thing. I want to, I want to see how everyone's uh, set up. You know, I know we get tons of pictures of people with their families and stuff. We love creating the culture. Also, comment in some of the videos and tell us what you'd like to see more of, uh, any kind of guests, more of something. Obviously, everyone also wants to see more giveaways, so you can put that if you'd like, and we'll always try to do more giveaways, but we like hearing feedback. We do this because we try to create a culture. We want this to be a learning experience and also an entertaining experience. So let's read the last winners here. We've got um, 59398, 59,398. Uh, then this one's hard. <laughs> Twelve thousand two hundred and twenty-two. So one, two, 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 two. Twelve thousand two hundred twenty-two. Then um, fifty-one thousand six hundred and sixty-nine. Five one six six nine. Fourth one, ten thousand seventy-eight. One zero zero seven eight. Now before I do the grand prize, we're gonna give away a kayak. Let me read the uh, the two winners from um, uh, the – Tyler goes to Texas A&M University. These two just won Travis boxes. Ross, Upstate Fishing, and Miles My Willoughby. And uh, if any of you guys want anything throughout the night, make sure you send an email to Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com, letting him know your mailing address and sending a picture of your golden ticket. Now the grand prize, everybody, for the kayak – Woo. You know what? The kayak and I'm throwing in this. Because they're throwing the kayak now. They might as well have this to, to go with it as well, right? The little fish finder. So we're going to throw that. The kayak and that is true. this personal one from me. I'm mailing this one from my house to you guys. So I've already got one that's open. All right. Number 37862. 37,862. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Yep. I want to see if you guys, if you're the winner of that one, I want to see a celebration. I want to see some kind of cool video or picture of you being happy that you just want a kayak and a fish finder. Guys, thank you for watching the show. That is all we got. Yep. Um, guys, also with the winners, um, any of you guys that want to double check who won, if you got in the show late and everything, we will be putting it in the description box below this video tomorrow when we re-upload it. Because after this cast is over, we're going to take it offline, and first thing in the morning, we're going to re-upload it, and we will have the winners in that description box, so you can let anyone else know that's asking about that later on, that those are going to be uh, tomorrow on there. And uh, you guys, thank you for being part of the LTV fam. We appreciate uh, all the support we get, and uh, we always have fun. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to Team Money's channel as well, Tyler Anderson. So Tyler's Real Fishing on YouTube. You're gonna, he's going to have some banger videos coming out here real soon and hopefully uh, win a tournament oh, yeah. this weekend. That'd be nice. <laughs> Tyler, good luck, man. And you guys, same time, same place next month in February. We'll have new T-shirts. We'll be wearing our new T-shirts, Tyler. Check out the store if you guys want to buy any swag and support Lucky Tackle Box. Go to LuckyTackleBox.com. And uh, that's all I got to say. We will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.